Okay. There we go. So that's all up. So no. I am probably gonna continue on what I did last stream. Um, not that it's fucking stupid or anything. It's well um I I wanna finish it. Um <sighs> now this is gonna take fucking forever to do. <laughs> it's probably gonna take a couple more streams. Which might be a little irritating, not gonna lie. Because I get it. It's it's content. It's something to do. But I also want to go into something else. Like it's great, but I want to do something else. Like I could, I could just start a new piece, but then I forget about the old one. I don't want to finish the old one. Cause then you know, it would be weird not to. Like a half finished piece. I have too many half finished pieces to like dump this one. Besides, it looks good. Like, it genuinely looks really good. I don't even know if people watch these streams. I don't think... Well, you know, people might watch these streams and not, like, talk in chat. But, like... I can't say no one watches the streams, right? Like, someone's gotta. Actually, no, it's not an obligation, to be honest. I look goofy. I look like I'd be interesting. If you're interested in a weird person with a cat beanie. Um, by the way, in real life, I don't actually own a cat beanie. Just, just a regular beanie. And I don't own a yellow hoodie either. I own a pink one and a blue one. And a red one and a white one and plenty of others. About four black ones. But I don't actually own any yellow ones. Never have. I own a yellow shirt that I got from Legoland. But I don't actually own like a yellow hoodie. So, wait, can you hear that? You can! <laughs> oh, sorry, um, I just put the backing of my earring on the desk. Um, because I wanted to take my earring out for a moment to just check it, because, you know, the gunk and stuff. Um, no, I don't usually do this during the start of the stream. <laughs> I usually do it beforehand, but I forgot to. Because it, it tends to be like a little fidget of mine. I tend to mess around with my earrings, like taking them in and out. Uh, also has to do with the paranoia of like nasty stuff on it, but like I, I put the backing of my earring on the desk and my character moved. So I was wondering if you could hear the backing of my earring hitting the desk and you could. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Okay. I think I should just like jump in earlier, like instead of waiting for like the ten minute mark. So it's like, oh, giving people like a fairly decent amount of time now, like actually going in and just doing it when I'm comfortable <laughs> instead of waiting. Because I'm not always going to get a reply before the 10 minute mark. Or anyone talk in chat. Like I've been lucky so far to have at least one person talk in chat every time I've been on stream. But you know. I've also just realised my character is not symmetrical on the face. The glasses are weird. Oh well. My face is not symmetrical either. Can't have perfect. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it's, frick it, it's before the 10 minute mark and 
I'm already getting bored trying to fill in time. So I'm just going to leave straight into it. Okay, I'm going to open up sketchbook. There we go. It's a little funny because I do open sketchbook pre-stream. However, it doesn't like that. It, it thinks that, oh, you've opened it, but it's not open. Did I do it in three or two? Three. Okay. Okay. No. Two was details like Jameson's eyes. Which you can't really tell. Or did I do two in Jameson's eyes? No, I did two for this. No. Two for these. As you can see. But, you know. I have a magnetic stylus that attaches to the side of my laptop, so, you know. It's, it's interesting. It's a laptop that my parents got me. It's nice. It's nice. Um, sorry, I just have to sort something, because I have my phone out to help, you know, read chat while I'm streaming. Because, obviously, I can't put both um, sketchbook and... <sighs> and OBS, that's a fucking word. Um, I can't put it both on at the same time, so I have to have my phone open with the stream on it to see chat. And, um, yeah, it, it's a little weird. So I, I have to sort it out every time because on the stream I have to make sure it doesn't turn off, it doesn't lock. Um, so yeah. Also the reason you can't hear like reverb of my voice is because I've muted my phone so it doesn't do that. Uh, anyway. Uh, I finished JJ. Under the chair. But this is, this is fun. Like obviously a bit nerve wracking because you're putting yourself there on the internet and people can see it. People can judge you, but everyone judges me anyway, so <laughs> I don't get what all the nerves are for. Also, if I don't reply like instantly to your message in chat, it's not because I don't like you, because there are very few people in this world that I genuinely don't like. But it's mostly because I'm drawing and um, <laughs> it's mostly because I'm drawing and uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot the stream music. <laughs> anyway, let's put something else on. Okay, something else. Um, yeah, as I was saying, if I don't respond immediately to your message in chat it's not because I don't like you it's just because I'm drawing and my eyes are not on the phone all the time they're not always flicking up like I'm sorry I don't have Mark's FNAF tactics of being able to flick my eyes up to the screen for like a split second and be able to catch something but also I'm more concentrated on this because this is the content <laughs> I mean, I could get content from talking to people. Like... Something about that bothers me. Something about the chair bothers me. I can't put my finger on why. Anyway, um... <laughs> yeah, the, the stream is slightly behind on uh, myself and what I'm drawing. So, which is part of the reason I don't respond instantly. Because uh, I don't have, I want to have the screen on, like the actual uh, stream itself instead of chat. Because I want to make sure I'm getting everything. 
everything is being gotten. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I tend to, ooh, okay then, just do your own thing then. Um, yeah, I, I usually don't respond instantly because of one, I'm not always looking at my phone to check chat. And two, there's lag of the stream and the chat itself. So, you know. What also bothers me is the fact that when I'm streaming, I can't respond to my partner. Which really bothers me because I want to. Like when they're in chat, obviously I can reply, but when I'm using my phone for chat during a stream, I can't respond, mostly because I want to keep the content flowing, but also because like that would mean I'd have to close Twitch and then reopen it because my phone doesn't like Twitch and will always be a little funny about reopening it. Yeah, because if you're not doing anything on a stream, if it's just like a paused screen, it's a little, I don't know, funny. Twitch is a little funny about that. So it's also sad because like, I can't do my streams really late at night. Like I can't do that because um, <laughs> obviously I live in a house with like uh, four other people, a dog and a cat. So, oh, what the fuck was that? I don't know. But Yay, star boy. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I was just stream from yesterday, but I didn't catch it. Uh, as you were saying, I can't respond to them because um, I want to keep the content flowing. I want to keep everything going normally. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to respond. Please, I, j I just want to say hi, want to say hello, want to um, fucking do something, like, I, j I just want to respond. Uh, it, it sucks, but, but, um, yeah. I, I think I understand why there's like a slight delay. Because if you want to do a transition, fucking... There. Um, like, if you want to do a transition, you... You want that time. You want that, you know, little bit of leverage. A little space where you know you can the little time frame that you know you can like I'm trying to think of a word for it i'm sorry i'm rambling at the moment but god it did that thing again sometimes it will fling me out into the outer worlds for some reason like i'll try to zoom out like a tiny bit and it'll suddenly fling me and it's like excuse me i'm trying i'm trying to I'm trying to draw here like, Excuse me? Excuse me? But, yeah, um, like I get it, if you want to do a transition, you want that delay so that you know it worked. Or the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Move this down to two as the details. I like this music. Like, 
groove palette. I get it, it's probably not the best choice for stream music, but it does let you record the things you make. So you can, you can use it. So it's, it's not like it's useless, cause it's not. Um, look, I already did another thing. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna do Jackie as well. So, fuse that. I'm gonna go here. Like, I know I started it before on the same layer as JJ. But that's just gonna leave me a little bit paranoid if I do that. get around to being able to color it because obviously making the bases you have to spend more time on making the base because uh, that's what you're gonna draw over that's the outline for what you're doing or it is a base it's not like the definite way your drawing is gonna go you can deviate from it a little bit but it's the thing of like I don't know I lost my train of thought <laughs> this happens a lot with me unfortunately yeah I, I did this on groove pad this music. It's nice. There are like lots of different... <sighs> Can't think of the word. Different types of music that you can use. I think that's it. There's like... <sighs> Dubstep. And... Like, there's a Halloween and a Christmas one, which, cool, I guess, but at the same time, it's like, that doesn't really fit. Because it's still, it's still trying to fit into, like, the, not punk rock, but something similar to that. It's trying to fit into that sort of label at the same time as being like for example the Christmas one it's still trying to be a carol while also being aggressive and the Christmas isn't aggressive you can't do that and think it's gonna be great I mean it's not horrible it's, it's not the worst like I'll definitely play it during that sort of time when I get around to streaming around that time, but otherwise, I won't go near it to be honest. It's a little, you know. I've got like half of it done now, which is great because, God, this is gonna take fucking forever. <laughs> Uh, smartened. My partner has declared themselves smartened. Which, if you don't know what the hell that means, it means stupid. But I love them regardless because... <laughs> cute. Um... link the uh, channel the twitch the twitch channel in the description at some point because I think they're good but like I want to don't get me wrong 
but at the same time, they haven't been streaming recently. I don't know the reason behind it, but they've just stopped. Which is kind of upsetting for me, but like I'm not forcing them to do it. That's their own choice. If something's up with them that's stopping them from streaming, or they're just forgetting, either way, it's none of my business. Because it's their channel, they can do what they want with it. Is it the same eye, or am I doing a different one? No, I'm just guessing. I... Uh... Hmm. I'm trying to... Try and guess if I did the correct eye. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Auntie. Uh, only a little bit, though. Mm. Um. Bit. <sighs> Partner's texting me, asking if I can convince them to go to sleep because they live in Australia, and I know the whole stranger danger bullshit. I know, I know. But we've FaceTimed like 50 times and I've had people actually in their lives confirm it and I know these people are in their lives because they've popped on to call with us which by the way is really weird but it does help with confirming like I was a little worried in the beginning, not gonna lie, but things have worked out. Not everything's going to mean it's a fucking stupid thing. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, <laughs> but yeah, my my partner's trying to get me to convince them to sleep. I love them, I do, but come on. Come on, love. You can do better than that. Why convince you to sleep when I can convince you to watch my stream instead? They're not actually watching, so me saying that isn't actually going to do jack shit. So... <laughs> I know they're not watching because they literally always type in chat whenever um, I'm on stream to make sure oh I know they're there the they always do that which is comforting in a way so I love the freaking pointy ears like I love that like, I know he's pissed off. <sighs> but, you know. How things are. Hang on a second. My phone just turned off. For some reason. I think I may have accidentally clicked uh, five minutes instead of something else. There's definitely been more than five minutes. Definitely been for more than five minutes. Uh, no, don't worry. <laughs> if I sound slightly louder, it's because I'm slightly closer to the mic, but, you know. Okay, sorted. Hopefully, I've convinced them to come on stream. <laughs> yeah, they... they. I wanted to respond. So I did. Oh, fucking hell. Auntie. Dear. Your eyes. Are aggravating, what the fuck. Ow. 
and tape. Stop. Oh. I said they can't be on stream for long because doctor told them not to overexert themselves. Uh, sad noises. They may be on in a minute, so I don't know. The bean needs to sleep. <laughs> I always manage to hit the stylus against the desk. Like <laughs> I can't go one stream without hitting the stylus against the desk. Flash donut. I hate when like I I love the autocorrect that it does, you know, getting it to a straight line if you've done something vaguely close to a straight line. But at the same time, I fucking hate the fact that sometimes when you do try to draw a line, it it just corrects itself in the wrong direction. Like, you've already seen evidence of it. Okay. So. Okay. There we go. Where's my partner? Ah, too big. Um, hi. It's good to see you. I know you can't be on for long, but still. <sighs> no. Nope. Sorry, I both got the line wrong and tipped slightly so I almost hit the desk <laughs> uh, if you can't tell not the um, not the most self-aware person <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna can I do that And that, because that's his, that's his hair. No, that's his shoulder. <laughs> Bicep. Wrong again. <sighs> Third time's the charm. Yes, it is you. Hi. It's good to see you. <laughs> quick, quick question. Um, why have you not been streaming recently? Like it's been been well over a month and I still haven't seen a stream from you. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen a stream from you in a while. Is it just like, you can't do it? Forgetting? Because like, for whatever reason it is, I'm not too bothered, but I just, I want to know why you're not streaming <laughs> as much. Is it because you've already got like the seven day, like, thing? The seven day street you need for... Uh, whatever it is, the level up. <laughs> level up. The, the Twitch level up. Come on. Okay, uh, I should be fine. Yeah, he angie. 
trying to imagine what Marvin said to look so smug and Auntie wouldn't fucking hit him. He could have said anything. He could have just... He, could, he didn't even have to say anything. Just exist. Uh, that's how Auntie just is with all of the egos. He just... No. You exist. You die. Your existence angers me. He absolutely would. I'd say I've been busy, but it's been more of a self-conscious thing. Oh, baby. It's okay. If you, if you don't want to stream because you're self-conscious, it's okay. Everybody's got their own struggles. <laughs> Boogie. Uh, <laughs> I'm going from comforting my partner to <laughs> uh, anti boobs. I really want to draw like spice on here, and when I say spice, I mean I want to draw like anti and dark in their respective. Uh, their respective clothes with, um, like, the bondage harnesses over the top. Like, can I? I don't know if it would be against the TOS. It would also be a very bold move for a starter. Since, you know... This is like the second piece of art I've ever done in stream. Maybe I'll do a few more pieces before I try to test the waters. Talking is hard, especially when family is home. Yes, yes it is. I also have Cammy barking occasionally. Because sometimes she'll be dead quiet, like she is right now. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I hear no bork. No, not a single peep out of the pup. But other times, she goes off her nuts. I think it's because someone like walks their dog outside. Because we, opposite our house, is like a huge fucking stretch of grass. It's It's not very wide. It's like... A house like you could probably stick another house on top of it but it won't have a garden and um, yeah <laughs> it but like lengthways widthways it's about a house without a garden but like lengthways it's the entire estate and people love walking their dogs up and down it because it's a long stretch of grass, they get to play, and it's all good. So, people regularly walk their dogs along that, and Cammy does not like that. She will go fucking mental. She will go absolutely off her nuts if anyone walks past. <laughs> Which... In hindsight, it is a little bit funny, but, you know, uh, it's not so fun when we're all kind of agitated and she's going crazy because someone's outside. We're all like yelling at her to shut up. Sounds like TOS. What, like, drawing Dark and Anti with, uh, bondage harnesses? I mean, that's what the people want. <laughs> but yeah, um, Cammy will go fucking nuts at the people across the street. Because they walk their dogs along a stretch of grass outside the front of our house. 
because my street is towards the back of the estate. Uh, so we have a big stretch of grass that separates us from like a motorway. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a little weird to be that close, but I've been here like Dad made me get my provisional driving license uh, yesterday, and. We had to figure out how long we'd been in our current house because used to be a military kid so we lived in military housing until uh mom and dad managed to find a permanent home and dad left the army but like that's the thing we've been in this house for like five years that's the longest we've ever been in one residency which is trippy to think about because I'm so used to moving every two, three, four years. I don't know. But it's weird to think about. There is a dot right here and that is annoying me. Okay, I'll stick around and lurk while I try to sleep. That's okay. You can stick around if you want to. But yeah, uh, as a military kid, I moved around a hell of a lot. So I was used to moving around every two, three years for a stretch. But we, we managed to... We managed to find a <sighs> we managed to find a decent house which has a bedroom for each of the kids because our previously our previous military housing was not up to standard because uh there we had like a little alley like going through the house like straight to the garden and unfortunately, with that being attached to the house, with doors either end, it counted in the square footage. So, on their records, that residency was big enough for a family of five. Fucking wrong. There were three bedrooms. One, which could have been a fucking broom closet, which, by the way, was my room. And there was one that, there was one room, the master bedroom, that stretched across the entire front of the house, except for that tiny little bit next to the stairs where the broom closet room was. And then there was the other room towards the back of the house, which was fucking huge, which was my sister's room. They had to share. But the issue was that the square footage of the house on their records meant that they put us in there without actually checking the house itself. Which meant we could barely manoeuvre around the kitchen. We would not be able to do anything in the kitchen if we put a dining room in there. Like a, not a dining room, a dining table. Because you know how you have like a dining room table. We didn't even have a dining room in that house. We had the living room, the kitchen at the back, then you went upstairs and there was uh, the three bedrooms or the two bedrooms and the broom closet. And then we had the tiniest fucking bathroom. Like you, d you take like a small bath and then put like two of those together. That was the size of the freaking uh, bathroom. And the issue with that was that you had to keep the door unlocked at all times even when you were having a shower because the fucking toilet was in a different thing it was in a different room it was like a tiny itty bitty room which was like half the size but it was just the toilet like not even a sink not even a fucking sink in that house it was absolutely awful so my parents, being absolutely disgusted with the state of military housing, 
Because previously we'd been in... No, it wasn't Germany. It was place before that. It was all the way up in North Yorkshire. But we, we'd been up in North Yorkshire. And even that house was getting too small for us. Thing is, they put us in an even smaller fucking house than the previous one. Like, I can remember the previous one like it was yesterday. That house that we were previously in was bigger than the one we were then put into. I had a bigger room. My sisters had a slightly smaller room, but it was all even. And we had a fairly decent garden. Obviously, like... The square footage of the house. The house itself was fucking tiny. The garden was huge. The garden itself was absolutely massive. But... That's the problem. The garden was fine. It was the house itself that was the issue. Because it was so small and almost unlivable for five people. And yet they stuck us all in there. My parents had enough by, like, the first year of being in it, so they were looking for, like, a new house. So we we quickly move out of that house, and now we're in this house for five years. I was only in the other house for about a year, maybe a year and a half, before we moved. We moved in, like, June, so that it wouldn't be middle of school year, and it'd be fucking hectic. like it it sucked ass being in that house it was fucking awful and that's the issue the they check the square footage of the house but don't actually check the house itself like when we moved in they were supposed to have done because it, because it's military housing, whenever someone new uh, moves in, they the military are obligated to clean and get the house ready for the next occupants. They did not. Not for us. Apparently the next tenants who used the house got it cleaned. But we didn't. We walked in and there was dust all over the place. There were like a couple stains on the carpets that had clearly been there for longer than a few days. Like it was bloody awful. I don't know how we stuck around for it for so long. How we even managed to get by in that house because it was a nightmare. It was an absolute fucking nightmare. I'm gonna crank this up to four because it's closer. But yeah, it was it was a bloody nightmare, that house. But uh, when someone tells you oh, military housing is great, they're lying. <laughs> they're trying to trick you. Cause it's shit. It it is genuine fucking crap. Ugh. It is not worth it, man. Like, I know you get essentially free housing. But, come on, it is so not worth it. <laughs> Don't. Like, I get it. Army sounds cool. That's something you've always dreamed of. It fucking sucks ass. Especially if you have, like, a family. Or you want to start a family. Because you won't be around for a lot of it. You'll miss out on a hell of a lot. Because they put you in different places around the world. Like my dad was in Estonia for months. The thing is, he would, I think he went to Estonia. 
then on his way back, he, the whole squad had to be turned around and sent to the Philippines because a disaster had happened. And they were ordered to go help, which extended how long he was out. I think it was somewhere between six and eight months that he was away. And my mum was having a complete breakdown. She could not handle the fact that my dad was away for that long. Because they, they'd met in university, so they'd never been apart for that long before. So, you know, my mum being very attached to my dad, obviously, because they have a very good thriving marriage. Um, that is not sarcasm, by the way. She was in tears constantly. Like, oldest, eldest person, eldest sibling syndrome means you have to be the fucking therapist for your mother. And my god, was I a fucking therapist. As someone who, c as my mum called me like a carbon copy of herself, when comforting her, I was a carbon copy of my dad. Because I knew the way to calm her down, to get her to stop crying, to, you know, comfort her. Because I'd watched my dad comfort mum plenty of times. So I knew what to do, I knew what words to say. But at the same time, it's like... This... This action will affect you in later life. Do you want to proceed? Kind of thing. And like, for the benefit of her health at the time, I was like, yes, proceed. And it has... detrimentally affected me. Because I turned into the therapist friend for years after that point. And then lockdown happened, and then I forgot how to be the therapist friend, which, in hindsight, is a good thing? Question mark? But at the same time, it also means I've forgotten how to talk to people properly. Like, I, I talk to someone, and I'm like, Hi, uh, how are you? And unless someone shares an interest with me in almost the same excited way, I can't really talk to them because I get too over the top, too excited. I tend to get really overexcited about things I'm passionate about. Like, I was talking to a friend about Markiplier, about uh, In Space, and... Well, they are pretty in tune with Markiplier as well, like, they love him as well. The issue was that I was getting too overexcited about it. It's awesome! And I was getting really excited and shit, and they looked uncomfortable, so I just effectively stopped talking. It... That's the issue, like... I don't know if you're still watching this, CL, but... I'm, I'm slightly afraid that my muchness will come off as too much. So we'll be talking and I'll get too overexcited and that'll be too much for you. That... What I do getting hyped and stuff will push you away and I'm afraid of that because that's something I'm almost trained at doing and it sucks ass Success 
being afraid of almost every movement because um, you know you're afraid you're going to get hurt like you're afraid that that's going to push someone away okay it sucks ass being paranoid about that because you're always worried about doing the wrong thing saying the wrong thing that you know one day something you say is going to be the last straw and they're just gonna go they're not gonna bother anymore because you're too much for them and that that fear is gonna be there for a long time like i don't think i'll ever stop having that fear that something i say is going to accidentally push someone over the edge because if someone finds me annoying I want them to tell me because I can be annoying and I understand and when someone annoys you you don't want them to talk and I suppose it is a bit of a people pleasing mannerism but as someone who grew up with a temperamental parent, <coughs> dad, <coughs> it's difficult for me to continue talking when I know someone's irritated by me. Because I know I have that feeling that if I continue, they're just going to progressively get more angry at me. And I'm just making things worse by speaking, which is half the time why I don't speak. Because I'm afraid that my very existence irritates people around me. And it sucks. It really does. Because you always have that fear. And it's likely never gonna go away because that's how I grew up. I grew up having to watch my words and when I didn't I would get yelled at for it. Like I said what the hell the other day because something killed me in a game that wasn't there the previous second. So I was evidently annoyed and upset because I just died and my dad being both my dad and Christian was like watch your language said the word hell it's like I get it you're sort of a devout Christian you don't go to church but come on when I'm an adult in my household, we will be able to say the word hell. But under your roof, I can't say it. Not if you're in the same room, obviously, because I'm saying it right now when he's in the house, but... It's... I don't know why. It, it annoys me, to be honest. Very temperamental. Yeah, that perpetual fear of saying something and upsetting someone to the point where they don't want to interact with me anymore is, it's always going to be there. It's always going to haunt me. It's always going to, it's always going to be there. And there is nothing I can really do to stop that. Like, I could go to a therapist, but I need to call the fucking doctors and my mum refuses to give me the GP's number no matter how many times I ask. Like, I think she's misreading what I'm saying because I, I keep saying, like, I think I have blank, can we book an appointment for me? And she's like, no, you need to book the appointment. 
call the GP yourself and book an appointment and then we'll stomp away because whenever I ask that puts her in a foul mood because I've mentioned it so many times like woman you need to give me the GP's number for me to call to make an appointment to get me to stop asking <sighs> like I, I'm I think I might ask later today like maybe try and change my words around a bit because the whole I think I have blank thing seems to be the thing that annoys her the most so if I just if I don't mention that if I say I want to make an appointment with the GP or just fucking straight up ask for the number why the fuck have I not done that I could just straight up ask for the number because she, she's not like a she's not a monster mum she she can have her moments obviously as all mums can but like she's not a monster mum if i'm worried about my health and she's asking me to book the appointment myself she's not gonna stop me it's more my own fear of talking to someone over the phone rather than you know her stopping me but that fear is still there in a sense also um by the way if you didn't know uh, Jacksepticeye said he has ADHD which by the way is probably the third fucking YouTuber I have encountered that says they have it and it, it's not even like oh I have this because no he went and got himself legitimately diagnosed by a psychiatrist and it's getting to that point where oh Ethan has ADHD yeah, that's easy to see. I can understand that. Oh. Mark has ADD. Oh, I didn't know that. Sean has ADHD. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern here. Universe, are you trying to tell me something? Uh, cause... I'm sensing a little bit of a pattern here. You know? Uh, just a hunch, perhaps. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I need to get, like... I need to... I can't think of the word. I had it a moment ago. I swear I did. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh, wait, the one was fucking... Nope, I lost it again. <laughs> but yeah, I need, I need to get myself... Diagnosed, that's it. Why, why did that take me so long to think of? But yeah, I... I need to call the GP to get a referral so that I can get diagnosed. Because otherwise, without a referral, they're going to be like, are you sure? Are you really sure? Do you really think so? Like, they're not going to believe me. At all. 
Because I've been suspecting for a while that I have some sort of mental disability that hinders my learning. Because I'm like a straight A student. When I go to a new school, I'm like a straight A student for like a couple of weeks. And then it fucking dies. Like all my motivation, all my drive, everything I want to do, it's just it out the window. It it gone. It it just poof. Like a magic. Marvin, what have you done with my motivation for life? Um but yeah, like it annoys me because I want to. Like, I want to do these things. Like, it's definitely symptoms of executive dysfunction, which is um, synonymous with uh, ADHD. Did I do all of this in a three? No, I did, the, I did that in a four. Okay, cool. But, like, it's synonymous with ADHD. And I have like I've been in a perpetual state of burnout for years like like since lockdown I have been in a perpetual state of lock in a perpetual state of burnout which if you don't know is like complete dead motivation you have you want to do the thing but you can't do the thing because body says no. Or it's the thing of, I want to do thing. Okay, you want to do thing. Yes, I want to do the thing. No. What? No. What do you mean no? So no. But I have motivation to do the thing. But you have thing in your hands. Yes, but that's not the thing I want to do. Do thing in your hands. Watch video. Play game. No. I want to draw. I want to work. Daydream. So it's... It's unfortunately a hideously annoying cycle. I'm gonna do that in three. Nope. Nope. There we are. Dogs barking. Someone's outside. It, she also barks at the kids on our street solely because they're like riding up and down. It's the weekend, baby dog. They're gonna be doing that. Like, I get it. I get it. You don't like it. You don't like the kids riding around near the house because it's your property. Shut the fuck up, though. Please. Just just for a moment. They're going past. Ooh, ooh. No. Bark. Like, she has no chill. Hackles up. You know. Just. All of the anger. All of the buff. It's like. Please. For the love of Jim Belushi, would you just shut up? <gasps> honey, honey, it's been, it's, they're gone! Stop barking! It's ridiculous. <sighs> I'm gonna do this on a different... That's good enough. They mix 
looks so weird without the beards. I don't know if I'm comfortable with clean shaven Jackie. Or clean shaven Auntie. Like Marvin doesn't look off. JJ doesn't look too off. But like something about Auntie and Jackie not having a beard is weird. But anyway, I should be able to get round to colouring now. But hey. Progress. Um, let's start with Auntie this time. Let's go. Griffin Dawn. Um, 120, uh, full brightness, and 25. Because I, I think Auntie has dark green hair. Like, screw me, but, you know. Uh, colouring. I forgot I had that on. The corrected thing. So weird. Where'd he go? Also, I believe if Auntie had a human disguise, he would have heterochromia. Which, if you don't know, obviously is... Well, not obviously, but... It's when you have two different coloured eyes. Like David Bowie. Not Bowie, I can't remember which one is. Which way to pronounce it, by the way. <clears throat> I got something in my throat. Um... Bigger. Uh, heterochromia. Like, he has his green eye, which is like a normal green, because human disguise, obviously. And his normal blue eye. But, thing is, my mom was like, okay, he still needs, like, to incorporate his signature neck slit. But how on earth would we do that if he were to be in a human disguise? And my brain then came up with the idea of, what if it's just a scar? Because Auntie's neck slit never heals. It's like perpetually bleeding. So what if it just looked like a scar? Like a suicide attempt that failed. Because essentially it did. Uh, that was essentially what happened. Yeah, if you've seen Say Goodbye, you know that Auntie slit Sean's throat but kept the body living enough that he could use it. And if you looked, it definitely wasn't a shallow like I know it's bleeding a lot but like that's because it's the fresh cut fresh cuts tend to especially ones across the neck where there's like a lot of veins and stuff like it wasn't a deep one Is it, I, th I think about anti regularly I don't know why it's a, it's a weird thing but like in my mind the cut isn't deep it's actually rather shallow but it's deep enough that it hit a blood vessel to make it bleed and look creepy it's not enough to actually pierce through his esophagus so that he can't eat properly that bit's gonna be brown by the way um but like i figured that Perhaps anti, you know, how it is. 
The cut isn't deep, so that he can eat properly. But it still bothers him from time to time because blood gets on everything and it's his own. He'd rather see other people's blood over his shit. And it really irritates him that it gets everywhere. So half the time you do see him walking around with like a bloody bandage around his neck. It's not like deeply bloody if it's a fresh bandage. If you meet him in like the morning, it won't really show you may have like a couple blood splotches of it seeping through but it otherwise won't be affected by evening it's more obvious that it's been bleeding and i i don't i think i think it's more he uses the bandage around when he possesses sean because he has to slit the throat to complete the summoning you know and, um, that's the thing. He has to complete the summoning by slitting Sean's throat to possess him. Because that is his, essentially his trademark. Saying, this is the boy I am possessing, this is mine, get the fuck away, it's mine. Um, not in like a cutely possessive way, in a I will fucking murder you if you touch this body. I swear to fucking god, get away from me, kind of way. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think he only wears the bandage around when he first possesses Sean. Or when he does possess Sean, if he does possess him regularly. McCanty wears the bandage around that point. A assuming, like, Anti could potentially be a separate entity. Like, we know that all the egos are not within one body because of, um... <sighs> because of, like, Anti attacking Trace's kits. And Marvin being able to see a vision of Anti and Chase. Chase is going to be very vulnerable to Anti and his malicious tricks, but you know. Bygones be bygones. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think Anti only wears the bandage around possessions. Because, obviously, possessing other people means that person will bleed. And he he doesn't like the blood, because once he possesses the person, it's not their blood anymore, it's technically his. And he gets really bothered about that. Like, he has an issue with... Like, he likes possessing people. It's the way that he's not that fond of. It's the possession ritual for him. Because each demon has their own type of ritual. Or if they're powerful enough, they can just possess at any given point. But Anti has to... Anti is not that strong of a demon. As much as he hates to admit it. He has to... Uh, he has to slit the person's throat before possessing them, or he has to influence them to slit their throat before possessing them. And once he leaves the body, the body's just there. It's dead. And the only reason Sean is alive is because of the other egos. Like, it's almost a tiring ritual for all of them, because as soon as Sean is used, like, either Marvin or Henrik has to come to the rescue and grab his body and heal it. Because I, I, I have the thing of... Okay, so Henrik's a doctor. We know that he heals people, but he struggles with it. So we think he has, like, a very, a very weak source of healing magic. Which, it doesn't necessarily work on huge wounds... Like, it can, he can remove bumps and scrapes, like, playground, uh, playground wounds, if you will. Playground injuries, which are, like, scrapes. 
the hell? Oh, it wasn't me. Um, but no, but like, he can heal playground wounds with magic. Like, I don't know, a paper cut, a bruise, a skimmed knee, that sort of thing. Like, proper playground wounds. But when it comes to Auntie's possession ritual, he's not great at it. He can't really do anything to fix it. So what he does is he will usually try to stitch up the wound to keep it closed until he can get Marvin over there to, you know, heal him. Um... Baby blue eyes. Um, but yeah, Henrik tends to keep Sean's neck closed uh, by, you know, how do I say it? Okay, um, he, he uses stitches and um ooh. oh gosh darn it it did the thing again ladies and gents it doesn't like me color picking for some reason also Marvin does not have green eyes in my fucking head cannon I'm gonna use these because this is a nice colour. Oh, it's only ever so slightly lighter than the one I picked. Dope. You can't really see the difference, but it's there. Um, anyway. Uh, I have JJ's eyes to colour pick. I need, I need to go back over to this because I realised Marvin doesn't have his freaking eye rings. I never drew him any. Why did I never draw him? Why did I never draw any eye rings for... Uh... I don't know why I never drew an iris for Marvin. So we got the pupil, but we haven't got like, the iris, the colour of the eye. Come on. The layer editor and the colour editor, they overlap each other, which bothers me slightly. like at the same time yeah it's it's irritating to be honest because I'll be trying to click on like the top uh, the top layer uh, and it won't do it because oh what do you do would you look at that it's <laughs> it's not doing it um but yeah it <sighs> it, it gets annoying after a while Yeah, it, the whole possession thing, Auntie doesn't do it often, not because it's not fun, but because it's such a hassle. Because once he leaves the body, he's very disorientated. He, he's very all over the place, he doesn't know what he's doing. He can get aggravated very easily in that state which is an issue for everyone. 
Um, because as much as he is angry, he doesn't actually like being angry. Ah, did it again. See what I mean? I did nothing that time. Ooh, I need to, to fill in that black there. The black of Auntie's teeth. Gaps. I don't know why. My fucking laptop hates that I'm streaming. It is whirring so loudly right now. Can you hear that? Oh, I had it. Blink. Ooh. Oh, funky. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, it just popped up on stream for me. So. I'm seeing what it did, which looks really weird. That looks really weird. Yeah, because uh, I'm usually landscape. Fucking hell. Uh, I'm usually landscape like this. So having it portrait looked kind of funny. Not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, I got, I got that sorted. Got the eyes sorted. The hair now needs sorting. The, they have sort of a medium brown. No, dark, dark brown, dark brown. Not that dark? 15 maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sort of, that sort of colour there. You know? That sort of colour. Yes. That looks good. That looks like a good colour. I like this music. I never really have much to talk about in these. Because my life is not that interesting, to be honest. I'm on my final major project at college. I might, I might do that on the stream at some point. Like, try to try to get some of the frames done on stream because when I'm on stream I'm motivated to do something like I actually have to move, I have to do something, I have to I have to get it in gear um, but like <sighs> I, I might do some of my final major project on stream because it, it's <laughs> it's an animation of me trying to climb a wall that's the wall that's art block for college and I keep getting like hit with rocks which have unhelpful comments on them by a indistinctly featured person wearing a shirt that says college <laughs> as you know metaphorical the metaphorical. Um, yeah, I am gonna do that because throughout my art block, for a lot of things actually, um, the college has been, or the teachers that are teaching me, have been very unhelpful 
they've been throwing a lot of unhelpful comments in my direction. Like, you need to do something. Yes, I know, but I have art block. Well, you can just draw blank. But that's not me. That doesn't really have anything to do with me. Like, when one teacher suggests drawing the journey I take to college. I sit on a bus, fall asleep for the hour and a fucking half it takes me to get there. And then I wake up and get off the bus. Uh, I, I said that to him and he was like, yep, yeah, do that. What the fuck? Wait, no. No, I'm not doing that because that has nothing to do with me other than I'm on the fucking bus. I fall asleep on the fucking bus. What about that strikes anyone as even remotely interesting? Because that's the thing. We need we need the art to spark something. We need it to be even like mildly interesting. Me sitting on a bus, sleeping, is not fucking interesting. I'm not an interesting sleeper. I just sleep. Excuse me? Like, if, if I get, like, my final major project done, then I might do, like, a crude animation of me getting on the bus and going to sleep. Do the one and a half hours later uh, of, like, Spongebob or something. And then show me getting off the bus. Like, come on. <sighs> yeah, it, it sucks, but... But... Yeah. Uh, time to do the beards. I don't know why people still draw the egos with like patchy beards. Like I get it, it's Sean's signature thing. He hasn't done ego content in a while. But like, Sean doesn't have a patchy beard anymore. So neither will the egos. Mark's the one with the patchy beard now. Well, it's not really patchy, it's just weak. Yes, I just called Mark's beard weak. It's more stubble than a beard, essentially. There's not very much there. I can always see people... Well, not always, but I see people drawing Mark, like, without the beard stash. Mark has a beard stash. And I'm not calling it a moustache because it's not separated. But like, he has a beard stash. Just like Sean. Like it's it's not a it's not a new thing. But people draw him without it? Why? I don't get it, to be honest. <sighs> I don't understand why people draw him like that. Like, if that's your style, then okay, fine. But everyone else, why are you drawing Mark with a beard and not a beard stash? Like, even look at his most recent videos, he's got a beard stash. You know, In Space with Markiplier, which has come out recently, which is completely dating this, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, 
like in space with Markiplier came out recently. And you know, I'll just erase the bits around my fucking face later. But like Mark, even in that, has a freaking beard stash. He has a beard. Also, that is not Markiplier, that is actor Mark. Fuck you, actor Mark. No wonder he doesn't get along with Celsi. <laughs> Celine decided to change her name. And was not impressed to find Mark was on the team. At all. There are several things I want to talk about now that I've mentioned in Space with Markiplier. But I probably shouldn't because they're like huge fucking spoilers. Like the whole Celsi thing is not a fucking spoiler because she's like one of the first people you fucking meet. It's like the very first, vi the very first video. The one you enter the whole adventure through, you get introduced to Celsi. The uh, lady who works the cryogenics. The cryogenics engineer, if you will. But, like. Um. Yeah, you have Celsi and Mark, which if you've ever watched Who Killed Markiplier, you know that the person who plays Celsi is Pamela Horton, Horton, I think it was, I think that was her last name, but it's Pam, who also plays Celine. Um, so, like... I had this idea that perhaps, um, perhaps they're both actor and, um, both actor and Celine, but Mark didn't change his name because he likes Mark and he likes that name. I think, I think some people had kind of that his actual name was Marcus. Actor Marcus. Which. Okay, I can get behind that, actually. I wouldn't mind if his name was actually Marcus and not Mark. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking. Like, I had that split second moment of. What if. Actor. Actor's last name isn't Iplia, it's. Eplier. Like Dr. Eplier. <laughs> like he he gets so tired of people pronouncing it wrong that he just goes along with it. Like he doesn't actually like people calling him Mr. Eplier. It's Eplier. And it annoys him, but he has to go with it. Okay, yeah, now, now that's a headcanon for me. That, that is a headcanon for me. He is Marcus Eplier. He's not actually um, Mark Eplier. Actually, no, I won't erase that. But, yeah. Um, also, fucking, what was it? I don't remember what I was gonna say. Like Marcus Eplier. Also, people saying uh, Doctor Eplier's 
first name is Edward because Mark's middle name is Mark Edward Fishbach. So Mark's name is Mark Edward Fishbach. So they said, oh, his middle name is Ed or Edward. And I'm fine with that. That sounds okay. I'm okay with it being Edward. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Jenna was the only one with eyebrows. Oh, if I if I put like burn scars here. Hold on. Slightly angrier, but no, I won't do that. Um, I'm gonna do a light blue here because it's a sweat drop. that and that you're wondering what I'm doing aren't you well uh, you'll see in a moment okay so maybe it's not big enough Okay, so there we go. Blue sweat drops. I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps line the opacity. Or just, you know, not do that. <sighs> um. Can I say the inside of Jackie's mouth was pink? Oh, I'd probably be down here, wouldn't it? Almost black. Like a red tone. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. I'm just, I'm gonna tint the background like mint so that I can see where I put white things. You know? Because the background's white, but the actual irises, not the irises, the scleras, which is the white bits of the eyes, um, the actual scleras are, you know. Oh, Auntie's no. This this would be blue. His actual eye is green. Okay, I'm just gonna. No me. I know what I'm doing. I'm being stupid, making mistakes on my art. You know, like a clips. Um. Anyway. The, the white of the eyes is not filled in and I, I tend to forget that if I use a white background if I have like someone's eyes or something I always have to tint the background some sort of colour I usually default to blue but because it's the septics I defaulted to green for them well it's not really defaulted I switched it up but like I, I usually default to blue or yellow 
um, for like my usual drawings. I don't know why I default to blue. Like blue is not my favourite colour, if you can't tell by my character's hoodie colour. Um, but, um, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so I, I default to blue most of the time, but it's, I've gotten into the habit of, if I think I've finished the drawing or I've gotten to a part where I'm comfortable with it, I'm going to just stop and think about it like oh these bits are supposed to be white but did I color them white though and then I'll go back and go over it with white once I've tinted the background and realized it's not actually white it's it's an it's a good habit to have like if you have white on your character it will not necessarily mean you have white everywhere else. Yeah, Marvin's mask is white. <sighs> Forgot about that. Oh yeah, last time I said I bought a Marvin mask, I had to look at uh references for his mask because I couldn't think of it off the top of my head like I knew it was a basic white cat mask with card things on the forehead but like I couldn't distinctly remember uh, if he had any other markings on his mask and I found like two very similar but slightly different variations which were canonical, so Sean's actual masks. There was the one from his original video, where he did Marvin's magic, which he was previously called Jack the Magnificent, but he changed it to Marvin as a tribute to the magic he was using in the video, which is kind of sweet, but, um, like, he has his original mask, which was crudely drawn for the video and for that video alone and then never looked upon again. And then there's the recent one within the past like three years where, three years? Two years, maybe one. But there was one where he predicted or he saw a vision of Auntie and Chase, I think it was where like they were doing something i can't remember what exactly but like they uh... i can't remember the word oh well um but yeah, he he had a more recent updated mask which it doesn't look much different from the beginning one but there's definitely some differences which indicates he perhaps lost the previous mask and tried to recreate it but yeah i'm gonna finish marvin's cape fluff here and then i'm gonna go and uh, sort something else I'm gonna end stream after this, so. Can I see that? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll try to finish Marvin's
fluff and then I'll uh, end stream because lunch is almost ready. I think. <laughs> I don't know, they haven't called up. But they tend to just go lunch and then, you know, forget that I'm streaming. Because it's not, it's not exactly the most recent thing. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like that. That's, yeah. Documents. Because I don't have the stuff in, um, <sighs> I don't have this stuff in, I can't remember what it's called. The, I don't have it in the pictures. There we go. Where I have most of my normal art. I have the whole Twitch YouTube thing. Um, you know. Uh, I have the whole Twitch YouTube thing. Uh, in my main documents. That's it. But I, I have it there along with the art and the stuff but um yeah that's gonna be all for today I should be able to do a fair bit more coloring next time I don't know if I'll complete it it may take two three streams maybe but I should be able to complete it soon this month hopefully um I may Not the next weekend when I do my next, not the next stream, but the stream after that I might do something else J just for that stream because my birthday is within that sort of week around that time. It, it's closer to the stream after the next one than it is the next stream. So I'll do something for my birthday then. Um, but otherwise, that's everything for today. So, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Or night, or whatever. Wherever you are in the world. Have a good time. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.